into 2019 with an open mind, a lot of hope, and a lot of love. This is such a mess. I'm such a mess. I really thought 2019 was going to be great. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Cheers to being a dumb bitch. Happy Friday, everybody! I felt like I had really just lost myself. I make really bad decisions all the time. It's fucking throat gonorrhea. You literally fucking left me. My hard drive crashed and I lost about two months worth of data and foot. Year are we on now? 19, then. Things are still oh, shitty. Man. I took ecstasy from a stranger. <sighs> Happy New Year. I thought... 2019 was gonna be my year. I thought 2019 was gonna be great. I thought 2019 was gonna be like enlightening and a year I'd never forget. And you know, sure as hell we'll never forget this shit show of a year, that's for sure. I came into the year thinking that the previous year had just taught me so much and 2019 came around the corner and was like, you know, I see that bet and raise you a thousand. <laughs> 2019 was a year of laughter. <laughs> it was a year of dancing. of lots and lots of photos. A year full of kisses. <laughs> and most importantly, it was a year of so many lessons and personal growth. Last year I put out a video called 18 Things I Learned in 2018. So now of course it's time to share 19 things I learned in 2019. The very first lesson from the year was that a lot of times the hardest person to be honest with is yourself. At the end of 2018, I felt pretty content with where my life was going, but shortly after the new year, I started feeling like maybe I wasn't actually happy. There were a lot of factors contributing to those feelings, but I finally realized that the relationship I was in wasn't exactly what I want or needed. You know, I ended last year's video off by saying I do deserve healthy love just to turn around and be stuck in the complete opposite so like what the fuck you know <laughs> eventually once things ended i had to understand that it's okay to change my mind we don't have to want the same thing forever and if we did imagine how boring life would be i felt really lost just i mean in general i completely lost myself in that relationship and i realized as scary as it might be Sometimes that's the best way to find yourself again. So during those next few months, I would come to learn just how much a fun night out with friends can help a healing heart. And by the way, to all my friends, thank you guys for having my back. <laughs> Number five, once you've accepted your flaws, nobody can hold them against you. Number six is something at took me a while to finally realize, but not everyone is gonna give back the same energy you put out. That's okay. Act upon intellect, not emotions. This year I learned how important it is to create personal boundaries. I tend to give out a lot to, I mean, just everyone I meet, but now I'm learning how to take care of myself while also doing that too. It's something really important and a lot of people don't tend to realize sometimes you'll never get the closure you want. More importantly, sometimes it's not even the closure you need. Number 10, not all positive change feels positive in the beginning. I think that one's really important. I can't tell you the amount of times I thought, why is this happening to me? My life is totally in shambles, but it turned out to be something really, really amazing in you know the long run. So appreciate the hard times just as much as you would appreciate the good times. The people you meet are either reflections of old cycles or paths to a brand new one. Sounds pretty obvious, but for some reason I decided to remind myself this year, um, don't take drugs from strangers. If you watch my vlog from California, then you know what I'm talking about. I sound like a broken record, but I went through a lot this year and one of the best things I learned and was shown is that you shouldn't have to change for anybody. I could go on for hours about how many people prove this to me and just how beautiful they are and thankful I am for them, but I'm just gonna sum it up with this. If they love you, 
they'll understand. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you'll know I'm constantly preaching about self-love and self-acceptance, but this year, I'm not gonna lie, that was really, really hard for me. My mind truly was my worst enemy. I had to remind myself countless times, but no amount of anger or guilt can change what happened in the past. Forgive and move on. One of my friends, Sydney, told me this a couple months ago and I loved it so much. Just because there's love doesn't always mean it's healthy. So of course, a lot of people are familiar with the quote, blood is thicker than water, but what a lot don't know, and I mean, I didn't know until recently, is that that's not the full quote. The real quote is, the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. The people who shed blood with you or by your side, those are who your family is. I'm getting off topic anyways. Um, I know I've mentioned my adopted family before, but this year in particular, they really took family to a whole new meaning. They gave me not just a place, but a group of people to call home. They've shown me that family isn't blood and blood isn't always family. That's something that not this year taught me, but that family in general. I know I mentioned it in my last video, but mom, if you're watching this, thank you. If you watched last year's video, you'll know that my grandpa passed away in 2018, but something he sort of lived by that I've let carry on into my life this past year was love hard, but take no shit. My grandpa would do so much for the ones he loved, but at the same time, he took no shit. <laughs> I learned that sometimes enough is enough and you really have to stand up for yourself in certain situations. And that's okay to do. Number 18, time really does heal. And finally, number 19. You know, not only has the year come to an end, but we said goodbye to an entire decade. It's really got me reflecting a lot on all of the things I went through in, I mean, the past 10 years. I experienced and saw through some things that I didn't even think were a part of real life. I got kicked down, torn apart, chewed up and spit out, but one thing I can confidently say leaving 2019 is that I'm one bad bitch. And I know that that's stupid and cliche to say, but after all the things I thought I would never heal from, here I am. This past year, it may have knocked me on my ass a couple times and flipped my life upside down, but I came out really, really strong. I saw through some hard shit. I'm about to move and be telling you all about my experience in a mental hospital. So I decided that it would be best if we just into things. I experienced some really cool Pretend shit. you love, trust the universe forever, don't <laughs> panic, and all that good shit. Did a little dumb shit. <laughs> Ow! And he was like, no, I get that, but like, I think you have the wrong number. Fucking boat dealer. <laughs> but I found a lot of good shit. And I drank. Like a lot. Guess who's drunk? Surprise, bitches! I'm never drinking ever again. Yeah, okay. We'll see you drunk tomorrow. Okay. Anniversary. Fucking chip. Definitely not. <laughs> Do you hear crickets, or is it just my head? I was lucky enough to experience Pride and some other really crazy adventures in San Diego. I took an insane trip to Florida with my girlfriend. And I went on a little road trip to Oklahoma to find an abandoned circus. My channel grew more than I ever thought it would, and that's super exciting. I have some fun things planned for this next year, and I'm excited to take whoever wants to come along on the journey with me. Once again, thank you for all the support. Um, I appreciate every single one of you guys. I know that I say that in almost every video, but I just, I, I don't know, I can't say it enough, I feel like. <laughs> Through all of my low points, and trust me, there were a lot. As hard as it was, 2019 taught me some really important things. I hope some of the things I shared in this video can stick with you for the future.
I don't want to sit here and say this year will be amazing because honestly, I don't know what the universe has in store for me. But what I do know is that even if it isn't, I'll handle whatever happens with strength, grace, and the slightly bruised ego 2019 left me. <laughs> As I always say, if you'd like to follow my journey, please click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow my other adventures, my social media links will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, be sound, and have a fantastic 2020. Bye. I would have loved you forever. Please go.